Whoa! Hey everyone. Welcome to Day 2 of Dead Cell and with you, me, you. Dead Cells. Hello. We're back. We're playing more, uh. We're playing more Dead Cells. Uh, we, uh, kicked off these Dead Cell streams last Friday. Um, I'm doing a week of these in replacement of Hot Mike Mornings. Um, if you watch my uh, spooks, uh, <laughs> spooking with scoops, or um, uh, my Splunky series, or Mario Maker, um, in which I go into games not knowing how they play, and then we kind of work through them together. Uh, that's kind of the, the idea for at least this week of streams as we try and learn Dead Cells uh, together. I I played this. Uh, for all of like 20 minutes when it uh, came into early access a year ago. Dropped it, have not touched it since. We did a run on Friday, which was inc incredible. It went a lot further than I was expecting. Um, but yeah, now we're back. Uh, there is no Hot Might Morning this uh, this week. Uh, Austin, who has also been playing Dead Cells, may join me um, for one or two of these sessions as we talk through some of our experiences with the game. Um, but largely this is just me, and then Hot Mike Mornings will return the week after with all of your friends. Um, there's gonna be a special stream later today. I don't, I don't want to spoil what's going on. You'll, you'll see. Special, special stream this afternoon. Let me load up uh, the Twitch chat so I can see what y'all are saying. Um, if uh, any problems with the audio balance, just you know, let me know. Is anything different about you? Which, yeah, okay. All right, so this is my uh, second run. Uh, no shields. What about just like never, never shields again? I was, I was not uh, psyched about using shields um, the first time. Um, just not to say secret room. All right, so I don't need that health. So just like get the money. Yeah, I'm not suggesting that shields are not viable, but uh, and I'm sure there are people that use them uh, very effectively. I was not um, one of them, let's say. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't find my time uh, with uh, a shield to be all that. Uh, right, now I can use this. So if I remember correctly, so okay, I think I did do two runs the first time that I played. And if I remember, once you have like the vine and stuff, you can then open up different paths so you can actually move forward at the game. Like it's not always the same. Toxic suits over there, so like I could go that way instead of um, that way. So I think I think that's something. I don't know what that means. That sparkly stuff seems like it should be a thing, right? Order stamp to the king seal. Casting. Ooh. All right, so. Check these and then occasionally there's stuff in there. I was saying that shields are hard to master but incredibly OP once you understand them. I, I that doesn't I, that does not that wouldn't shock me. Did I miss a Alright, so I'm gonna go scout the rest of this area. Maybe we'll go to the toxic sewers just to see. We were saying I'm a little quiet. Alright, hold on. Let's fix that. Alright. 
Alright, we should be good. Oh, so that's no, that doesn't mean I, I didn't miss a room. That just means that's like one of those things I can use. Okay. So I wonder if, like, the reason you would pick different areas is that based on preference, is that based on types of loot that you can get in certain areas over another is that just for variety's sake like I don't want to go to the same area over and over again I'm asking this rhetorically I don't I don't I'm not necessarily seeking answers from the chat I'm I'm trying to stay uh, unspoiled in terms of like learning new mechanics and things like that. Nah, I still need to figure out how I want to uh, like handle builds and stuff like that. Um, so, oh, so that item splits both ways. So red benefits. Well, okay. All right. don't have that one. I wonder if you get those all on... This door has to be open from somewhere else. Okay. Wait, what was that? Oh. So these, there are these areas where... Oh, I guess that you're just dropping down. I was wondering if maybe you need... Is now open. Alright, well, okay. Aha! Not cursed, baby. did uh treat me well the last time. Ooh. Give me that kebab. I wonder if some of these d doors um don't have, don't have anything behind them. Do they have more of a prop propensity um, to have secrets? I'm not Fully aware of like the meta. So how did you even get up there? Uh, people are asking. This is from the 1.0 version of the game that will be live um, tomorrow uh, when this uh, officially updates, and relaunches. Grenade one. I did like ice grenades a lot. They they seem rad. So I think I'm actually gonna rock another ice grenade. All right. So that's the direction I went in last time. So, you know, last time I was reminded that there are, um, oh, this dopey, dopey. All right, not big on the trap. Right now, the, the game has gifted me with a similar version of the build I had um, last time, ice grenades and the turret, and that got me, <laughs> that got me extremely far last time. 
And then it wasn't super clear to me, like, once I had made it to that next section, is that just a matter of... Maybe I hadn't spec'd right, like, maybe I hadn't done the right upgrade path, maybe I just needed to understand how the enemies work uh, better. Um, Cause I got my ass kicked pretty quickly. I was also, like, feeling cognizant of, of the fact that the stream had gone on longer than um, I anticipated it to. Oh, a tribute turn back. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get 850 out of that, like by recycling it. So it doesn't seem like that's worth it. All right, so let's go to the area that I have not been to. So we're gonna go down. We're gonna go to the toxic sewers. <laughs> Because that gets unlocked by having access to this. So I'm guessing it's so like so far, it seems like whenever I get act, when, whenever I'll get access to that next upgrade, like the one that lets you go to a different area, then maybe you're gonna have three branching paths. There's like the normal path that takes you to the promenade of the damned. There's one that takes you to the toxic sewers, and then my guess would be there's a third one that goes somewhere else. Look who's back. Give me a flask. So you could start with better bows if you're putting in the time and the money. I don't know, like, which one. I don't know, I guess it's start... Does it make sense to like put it all into one, or does it make sense to like spread the wealth? Oh, so now every time I'm gonna just have this dude who can give me modifiers. Okay, well that's gonna be like the benefit of having money early on, is you can afford modifiers early, or, or to change the modifiers rather. Um, Shots of a trail of flames, that already seems good. Enemies hit by this will fall more slowly. That already seems good too, so I don't really see a reason to re-roll that. Uh, ammo comes back, enemies are killed. Um, so these start as base, just like don't do anything items, and then you can modify them. Okay, so let's just see. All right, just on target. Can I soul? Okay. Like it seems to make sense to just do it. Once to each. Like, it's early, I can't spend a lot, but I've immediately turned them into at least something slightly more interesting. 29% um, to a damage target, and damage I can, you know, I can stun them by doing the, the ground pound. Uh, beginner's bow, 1 plus. I like that 1 plus. Launches a grenade. So now, it does this. Right, mutation. Alright, so these are the same every time once in the event of a premature death. It seems like you have to get that early, so you have to like try and forego a different mutation in order to get that. I think that's maybe how that works. The combo... Mm. You get three, and I'm, you know, I'll, I'll probably make it through. Necromancy just seems like well I've not got the right so I've got the the health files the health files hopefully are allowing you to like push off necromancy as like a um, as a legitimate bonus and if you think about it two HP after an enemy dies that's not a lot of HP unless you are upgrading that and I don't know if that actually that must upgrade through the like the actual stat like the generalized stat upgrades you're doing the the reds uh, purples and greens. So I don't, I don't remember if that becomes like 4 HP after enemy dies and 5 HP, because eventually your HP is going to get so high that it wouldn't make uh, a lot of sense to... Right, like if you're all suddenly at 1,000 HP, 2 HP is not, like, not helping you at all. all right, so I'm going to go with the DPS for the time being. Yeah, I don't need it.
This is my first time into the sewers. <clears throat> hey. Okay. So there are side quests you can go on? I've not encountered anything like this before. Oh, uh, oh okay. All right. Don't go in the sludge. So I can climb these. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ooh. Oh, who's this bad boy? to see the piping in the sewers. Maybe that's, you know, it's probably something that becomes a little more... Oh, those come out of the ground. I did not, <laughs> I did not even realize that. Carefully balanced rapid fire seems as 1% of HP recovered per attack, close combat, 100% damage taken. Uh, right, let's, so we can compare these. It's lower DPS, 25% damage to a stun target. That's pretty alright. This stun target one does help. But 1% of HP recovered per attack, close combat, 100% da oh, damage taken. So yes, you're getting health back, but you're taking 100% more damage, which seems terrible. Cycle that blade. No, thank you. I, I mean, it's balanced, I guess. In the sense that you get stuff and it hurts you.
way. Star mean it's in a like a, a higher upgraded enemy? Take attention to <laughs> trying to think through what that star means. Upgrades brutality or Oh, so these just choose one of these. Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna like, kind of like trade off between those two at the moment. What's up, baby? What you selling? What you selling? <sighs> Causes bleeding automatically targets the nearest enemy. That seems rad. Duplex bow. Shoots two at a time. 50% damage when you're at max HP. That seems baller as shit. Blood sword causes bleeding. That seems alright as well. Alright. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the bow. Cannot be sold. Okay. Cause I can do some just like long range shenanigans with this thing. But I mean obviously you gotta be at full HP. It's not really helping me at the moment, but. Ooh, elite. You know what's elite? Oh, get the fuck! <laughs> what's elite? Just going down there and getting your ass kicked. That's elite. Whoa! Okay! Okay! Okay, okay, okay. on you. Alright, so I guess, does that mean I can go in those toxic sludges now? I apologize uh, to that scorpion. I did not mean to uh, imply that it was not elite. <laughs> Clearly it is. The enemy's teeth fall, transforms arrows into gold. Uh, same things I got. Oh, 100% damage to a burning target. Shots leave a flame, a trail of flames. 3 DPS. So it's exactly the same except for the perk. 
I think I'd rather have shots leave a trail of flames than understand a chance to a burning target. So I'll take it. Swap it. Now I have the one I want, right? I have the shots leave a trail of flames. People try to point out that tell uh, maybe maybe you know maybe scorpions shouldn't be able to teleport. I agree, hundred percent hard agree. I'm gonna test. So does this mean I can go in the top? All right, so now I can like just go in this poison. What's up? Can't get me. Not so toxic now. So now I'm looking for this rune for that dude. Hmm. Fifty. I could come back and check that out. Again, these early runs are not the run, and so I am erring on the side of. Uh, Spending money, doing stuff, trying different item combinations, discovering if I like or don't like things, rather than getting hung up and like, oh, maybe this is the one where we're gonna go all the way, because it's just like, it's just not going to be the one where we go all the way. All right, so I'm gonna guess this one I can't do. I think you're lying to me. I think you are a bad person who is trying to trick me, but I said I'm going to I'm gonna try new things. This is just my life now. Woo! Did it, 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 did it. Did it, did it, did it. Did it, did it, did it. All right. What do we got here? Blood sword. Causes bleeding. Great. Colorless. The highest level applies. Oh. Oh. Mm, bad. 1% of HP recovered per attack. 100% damage taken. 50% damage to a poison target. A swarm of biting worms crawl from your victims. I mean, that seems all right. I mean, it's a good sword, but that d uh, damage is gr bad. 373 DPS is ridiculous. It's true, I gotta go for it. Chat says the worms are new. I wanna see these worms. Teleportation rune. This permanent rune lets you use teleportation monoliths. Oh, is that what this is? Rad. All right, unlocked. What? You son of a. Oh, people are pointing out, this is an okay thing to, to, to point out, uh, that you can, despite the fact that, uh, like, the damage is high, the bleeding effect is great, um, I could reforge the modifier, um, if I make it to the level, and then keep the, the baller sword. Alright, let's see if this is. Not a cracker. Such a place is one of these. Stuns targets have more than 70% health. This is gonna do 200% damage taken. I'm not doing this. Sorry. I would like to see what that is, but I don't have the. Can I get into that? I don't remember what that. Um... Oh. 
Oh, this is when the time goes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's because it's an hourglass. I see. I see. Oh, okay. So now I can now with these. Um, right. So if I come back here. Ice grenade victims burn. If we're damaged, I just prefer the freezing. Like uh, the fr the freezing is super useful, and I've already got to burn one, so I think I'm gonna stick with my uh, ice grenade. The only thing I haven't really explored. Is <sighs> I don't know if the dude is not cursed. Is there a treasure chest? Is there a treasure chest in every level? Frost blast. Oh, this is a, okay. Freeze enemies in front of you. No damage to the target is already frozen. On thawing, the enemy suffers from bleeding. That seems awesome. Bleeding is good. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm switching it up. Let's see what this does. Yo, Hadu Ice. Switching it up. Gotta try something new. Fortunately, it seems like I've already, like, scouted out most of this level. So I, I shouldn't have to worry. What's that? Oh. Are those my sl Are those my slug friends? Do you attack things? Doesn't, okay, it doesn't seem like it. And so now, okay, here's what's interesting. So the blood sword that I picked up, colorless, which means it maps to the highest stat. And now I have purples across the board, which means, well, HP would be the reason to go with survival. But I don't need survival items, so I think I'm gonna stick with purple items, then everything gets a boost. Still don't have whatever that does. Okay, so I think other than talking to my my boy to see if he does anything else. Um, man, this is a this is a sweet weird build uh, right now. Uh, I don't remember where the beginning of the level was. Oh, this is, oh, that's probably where I came in, right? Where that other door is. Zoom. People asking questions about the Switch version. I have not played the Switch version. This is where I came from, right? And this would have been where I talked to my friend. He's not there, so. Okay. There's, there's nothing. Alright, ramparts it is.
Zink? What's up? Sorry, I keep busting up your doors. Random melee weapon. Unlock seven more items. Oh, I see how that works. Oh, I forgot about these. Ah! I didn't even look down here. Oh, you can unlock new mutations. Okay. Absorb more damage. There's a force field with three seconds on a successful parry. Oh, well, I can see why. If you got into shields, that could be baller status. Should seven of short range bolts at once. It's a critical hit at close range. And a bow designed for hand to hand combat. Pushes enemies back and interrupts attacks. Additional damage if enemy hits a wall. What? That just sounds weird. Fire grenades? That sounds cool. Double cross somatic shoots at two near banners at the same time. Each shot inflicts 79 DPS. Ah, so many things to put money into. Oh, so I can just... Wait, I guess I didn't re think this through. But those, are, these are now in the game? And I can also just use them now if I wanted to. Sorry, I'm not gonna go with either of those. But I guess, the, um, question for the chat. Does this mean that now they're drops? Like they're just random drops? Or did I just waste a bunch of cells? Oh, okay. Echinagi. Ech Echinaga? E Echinaga? I apologize. Confirms, they are now just random drops of the game. So even though if I don't want them now, they, uh... They may prove useful later. All right, so now, okay. 140 to reforge at once. Beep. Wait, I can recycle these, right? It might be able to get two reforges out of it. All right, let's see. So we're getting, which we want to get rid of. 100% damage taken. I mean, those are. Oh, but I'm gonna also I'm gonna lose colorless, right? Oh, because it'll always be colorless. Oh, okay. All legendaries are colorless. Okay. Let's see what happens. Ah. So my, mm. Can I get rid of that star? Or am I, am I stuck with the 100% damage taken? Like, have I paid to reforge it again? Because this now seems good. Okay, you can. Damn. But now, look at this. Look at this baller-ass sword. <laughs> It's 100% damage to a burning target, and the thing does burn! <laughs> oh, that's such a good combo. Let's live. Let's live. Let's, let's, let's just go. Let's just go for it. Let's just live our, li live our best life. This is the, 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 sur the sword burns with the intensity of a thousand suns. Uh Wait, people are just, okay, hold on. Victim burn means the target bursts into flames upon death. Oh, so it doesn't actually cause burn. 
and thus it doesn't apply the 100% damage to... Alright, so let's explain what's happening here. So, the wording of this sword says, 100% uh, damage to a burning target, which is good. Once the target is on fire, you're doing 100% you know, more damage. Um, victims burn. Uh, that makes it seem like you're applying burn to the enemy, as the chat points out. And this is where, this is where I, like, I'm okay with having chat explain something about the game's mechanics rather than discovering it ourselves. Um, the victims burn upon death. So you can't get 100% damage to a target you've already killed. So I think we're going to go ahead and just reforge. Alright, so we got rid of that star, which is good. We've kept colorless, because as Chad pointed out, legendaries keep their colorless status no matter how many you reforge. Shoots an arrow upward. Not very useful. The victim's remains explode. Not very useful. 50% damage when you're at max HP. But you're so rarely at max HP that I don't know that that's like a super useful stat. Roll again. Bleeding causes poisoning. It can bleed. 100% damage to a burning target. Launches a grenade. We're sticking with that. We are sticking with that. But people did point out, okay, we're not going to go over this a million times, that I could have kept the fire grenade and then gotten those bonuses. So, hey, that just that just tells you uh, like how many different approaches you have to um, what you're doing here. 51% cooldown time on skills, except grenades, 2% HP after enemy dies, ammo, uh, uh, I'm gonna do the cool, I mean, mm. Mm -hmm. So I've got the grenade. So now I have a sword that uh, causes bleeding, and then the sword also has a, a perk that where the bleeding causes poison. And I also have... Uh, the uh, Frost Blast, which um, causes bleeding as well. Question for the chat, can you just die? Can you just like fall off that ledge and then just the run's over? <laughs> okay, I made short work of that guy. I almost forgot that my uh, <laughs> this sword is ridiculous. the chest Damn. let's see now oh, that's a shield I'm interested in shields really so we're seeing percent damage last 10 damage received stuns blocks enemies so it's like that it's like, yeah, okay. I mean, we're not gonna do it but eventually we're just gonna have to do like a swords run for a shields run where I just need to like figure out shields. Uh, so I don't want to rule them out just because it's like generally against my playstyle and I, it makes me uncomfortable to learn how to parry. Um, we can learn things. You can I don't, teach an old dog new tricks.
All right, so it's not the case that even if you are behind on those time gates, like you can make up for them. You can. It seems like you could have. I could have done that if I was not dicking around so much. I'm doing really good on damage, so I'm gonna get myself some more HP. Uh, I mean, obviously, you keep stacking damage, and like, seems like that's gonna be a spot that we're spending a lot of time. Uh, ice bow. That seems sick. Poisoned. <laughs> That's so good. But yeah, I have to imagine, you know, even though this is, I'm super early on in my understanding of this game, uh, like that's got to be a lot of the fun and where the mastery comes from is understanding how those different systems interact with one another and where the game is probably okay with you, like, kind of having some OP builds because, like, the OP ness comes from the fact that there's a little bit of luck, but it's also you having, like, um, an understanding of how the game works. Lightning bolts. God, and now that means I'm getting a 50%, 15% damage boost every single time I upgrade one of those on my sword that's already does like a billion damage. Oh, please, yes, I need another upgrade. People are noting that well, game, eventually the game will reassert itself and rebalance itself, which of course, yeah, like, but it's fun for this moment to have, uh, I feel like a, a certain mastery over what's happening. All right, uh, so I guess none of these really matter. The, let's see, generates a shield when used? Ooh, I think I would rather have that over the thaw bonus. I can't buy that, but, oh, and I didn't notice that you can see actually marked on the items their dual status, right? So I was not even thinking about that when purchasing, but like, let's say you'd heavily invested in tactics, you could switch over to a, a perk or to a weapon that is not necessarily a preferred one, but would get a lot of bonuses because you'd invested in tactics and so you can get more synergy across your stat bonuses. I gotcha. So that ace grenade would be uh, good. I could retain its purple status. So let's keep that in mind, 6,900. I can probably accrue that uh, over the course of the stage. Ooh, and I cannot use these.
And people are also pointing out, um, you know, actually some of the fun of a roguelike is actually the fact that you can sort of like bend and break it to your will, which like I 100% agree with. I think uh, game, sh you know, obviously game should have rules and it tries to keep a player on a certain track. And but I, I enjoy games that reward players for understanding their rules, right? Um, and then it's you know it's fair for the game to reassert itself um, and say uh 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 uh. Um, me in the direction of that upgraded ice grenade. Thank you for the drop. Fifty-seven seventy-five. Fifty-seven seventy-five. Going on to sixty-nine hundred. Please, 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 please. place to put a door. Fifty-nine hundred, fifty-nine hundred, fifty-nine hundred. The ice breath goes really far. Oh, sixty-one hundred, sixty-one hundred, sixty-one hundred. We're going, we're going. We need, we need, uh, seven, eight hundred more. Seven hundred eighty more. Seven hundred more. Seven hundred more. Roughly six hundred more. drop an item that you're carrying and sell it? Or do you have to swap it in order for the sale, to have the recycling to happen? that like all uh, hey what are you doing over there also got the money all right let's see what we got 
Bloodsword, I, I can't imagine it's going to be better. Nope. <laughs> victim of bleeding spreads it to other enemies nearby. That's a cool perk. Swarm of biting uh, worms crawls uh, from your victims. Uh, we're going to recycle that. Duplex bow. Uh, mm, colorless. Fidgets and damage max P, ammo plus three. Swarm of damage crawls from your victims. I think I'm sticking with just what I got. I mean, that's a good bow, though. It's super percent damage and max AP without the downside of 100% damage plus. Oh, wait, look. <laughs> look how much damage it does, though. 150, uh, 703 DPS. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. But the frost blast, like, combined with the fr I think, mm. I'm gonna stick with it for now. This isn't different enough that I think it falls under the, hey, you should be trying different builds thing. The, the seven, again, the 703 DBS, that is a lot of hits. But the frost is like, Same bulb is okay. Yeah, people are saying if you freeze with the bomb and then you got that bow. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Moving on. We're per it's permanent. I really liked that frost. I guess I'm about to upgrade my frost grenade though, so I mean, in a sense I did. My frost is is gonna get better. So I gotta go back to that teleporter. Oh! Oh whatever, I can use my two health files. I haven't used them at all here. something down here? What's up? How do you get down there? There's something. Hmm. Part of what I really liked about the freeze blast was that like the reach of it was just ridiculous. Says generate generates a shield when used. What does that even mean? I don't see anything represented on my character. Very brief shield. Okay. So maybe that's not a particularly good perk. Like a shield that is just like temporary vulnerability. Oh yeah, people are pointing out that one of the upgrade stats of the ice grenade is uh, minus 10% damage. Which is baller, and that sticks around even if I decide to re-roll the uh, upgrade stat. Uh, what's up? I got this king-ass sword! Locked, okay. 
Ice bow freezes the enemy. That seems cool. Hold to inflict critical hits. Join the dark side. I think I'm gonna start. I wanna get this out of the way because it seems like. Yes, unlocking these is cool, but like having that early on would be uh, useful. So it seems like a random starter bow early, random melee weapon early as unlock seems like those are would be uh, really useful. All right. So I. So I'm gonna reforge this. Upon falling, the enemy suffers from bleeding. I love when things bleed. Please. Okay, let's now remember all what all my things do. The sword, got a grenade, got this, this. buddy. grenade seems to make that which I, I've been using ice grenades a lot in these two runs seems to make that boss a lot easier to manage twin daggers colorless so it's a legendary drop 50% damage on your max AP increases your movement speed for five seconds after killing an enemy victims burn mm. Eight sixty five, thirteen thirty five DPS. It inflicts a critical hit on the third consecutive strike. I think people, the people have spoken. This is a these are runs where you just gotta you can't get comfortable. You gotta get outside that zone. 
and that zone is one dagger in one hand, one dagger in the other. That said, I could do both. Like, I don't actually have to choose between the sword and my... I'm going to keep the bow. All right, blood sword. Bom bom bom. Bom bom bom. Bom bom bom. Everyone, I please pay tribute to Blood Sword 2-L. The uh, my naming scheme is unconventional, but it's how I keep tabs of these these weapons. Thank you Blood Sword, you have done us a great service. Goodbye. Ash of the Slit Village and Slumbering... Oh, because now I have two different options. Right, let's, we'll think about the reforging in a second. So do you have to get that all the way up in order for that to do anything? Or are you getting a percentage? This is zero percent. I was found be of a plus quality. So you have to get a thousand in there for this to mean anything. Oh, so. I wonder if it um, is like not useful for me to be investing in that. I was like maybe that's not. All right, so let's think about this. What is my current setup doing? Uh, it's shooting blades that causes bleeding, and the shots leave a trail of flame. So uh, we have fire and bleeding. We have on thawing the enemy suffers from bleeding. Oh, upgrade to plus quality. So you can actually upgrade... Oh, I didn't realize that. So if you really like... And it also reforges your modifiers. So you lose that in doing it. You know, the dagger is 50% of damage, your max HP, which is... I, that's not a useful stat. Increase your movement through your five seconds after killing an enemy. I don't know how useful that is. The victims burn upon death. So we are going to reforge. Critical hits deal tw up 20% damage. Just narrow upward. The 20% damage is theoretically super useful because this is a critical hit weapon. So a critical hit on the third strike, then 20%. It's a lot of damage. Choose two at the same time. I'm gonna stick with that one in 20 years. But this bow, ammo plus three is all right. That's, I don't know that the ammo is the big concern. The figures and damage at max HP is just a useless stat. And so I don't know if ammo plus three and the worms are necessarily like helping me in any meaningful way. So we're just gonna move forward. Shots leave a trail of flames, 100% damage to a burning target, the victims are made the <laughs> Hercules, Hercules. Okay.
streamer luck. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on. Uh. All right, let's. I don't understand how this works. So I'm gonna ask the chat like about these this plus quality. Does so that just means you're getting like an upgraded version without actually getting to like slicer three? Like you're just getting a better version of the current item without actually having to acquire slicer three, right? It increases damage a little bit too. So now the this is a trail of flames. So I've already got the fire. Now let's just see what happens. Shots pierce the first target. Oh, you can. Oh, I can't afford it. Okay. I don't know what piercing does. What does pier pier shots pierce? Does, does it mean it goes through? Like it'll attack two? Mm, that seems good for a turret. Okay, we're gonna stick with that. Later. I got nothing. I'm gonna stick with these mutations for now. Uh, thanks everyone for watching so far. If you uh, don't know who I am, I am uh, Patrick Klovic, senior reporter for Waypoint. Uh, playing some Dead Cells. It's the 1.0 version of the game um, that will launch tomorrow. Uh, we, I'm doing a series of daily something I got here. Uh, daily runs. Uh, I started on Friday um, through the rest of this week. I have not played the game before. I played the game briefly in early access. Um, have not played it uh, since. We played on Friday for an hour. Um, had a good run. We're playing. Played for about an hour now. Um, had, a, had, a, had a pretty fun run. So uh, let's see forward. What? What the fuck? Oh, I thought it was like tracking. I mean, that's all right. I was just confused. I know there is a, a, a weapon that uh, tracks. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. Well, this is gone. It's really poor way to start. Take a deep breath. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look what that bow does. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, the bow is incredible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Thank you. I haven't even messed with the, the twin blades at all here. Let's do some freeze and... Oh, so you can see where that crit is hitting. Man, this is a... This is... I can do some damage, y'all. You wouldn't want to... Wouldn't want to... Mm -hmm. Look at that! It's so good! Yeah, work your way over here, little enemy. 
Um. Let's probably go ahead and increase my health at some point. Seems like something to invest it every once in a while. Part of what I'm appreciating uh, so far in the game is that, I, like this build that I'm playing is is well, it's, it's a little bit similar to um, the one I, I had before. Like I, I have fallen, I have found myself falling into an appreciation for items that kind of like, like give me a bit of a reprieve. So like I've been using. Ice grenades and the bow is like something from long distance, so maybe I'm already falling into a little bit of a pattern. But oh, okay. Well, I don't know. This is gonna 107. Nice, damage freezes. This is the exact same thing. Take the money. But it seems like one of the advantages that Dead Cells has, uh, or one of its, uh, the perks of uh, Dead Cells, um, the game just has like a really strong sense of variety in, in play style. Like just giving the player lots of different ample, oh, I was not paying Uh, different ways to approach um, playing. Okay. Oh, okay. I, oh, okay. 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 Forgot that those things explode. Um, and it's part of why I want to put the investment of uh, into like unlocking those starter randomized starter bows and swords and stuff like that because it feels like it would make um, like early runs more fun. That just does so much damage without me like being anywhere near there. Like I can do things from afar. I can do things from up close. I can. Um... Okay, maybe die. Maybe people are dying. And what's exciting is that I'm like, again, like this is my second run. There have to be like so many more items and different varieties of, of swords and all sorts of things to unlock in a way that's going to make. Um... So like this is an example. So I wonder if like in general, if I find the two upgrade ones, see 27 HP is not that much. 
And these do, because they're colorless, they... Oh, but wait, hold on. Does colorless mean that it... Like, it's not stacking red and purple, right? It's just choosing the larger stat. So there's no reason for me to invest in red. Between red and green, right? Like, you'd always want to invest in green. Because, and then, so for like... Right, I think that makes, that makes sense. All right, correct. Because in this section you need keys in order to make progress. Poisoning emits a toxic cloud. Oh, that's so good. Ah. All right, I can afford that. Eighty-seven hundred. All right, we'll, we'll be back, my friend. So, as you're starting to see out of this build, that uh, and this is probably just Dead Cells 101. But you know, again, we're playing this together. I'm learning this. You're hearing my own interpretation of how this game. Uh, works um, as, as I kind of figure it out, but uh, like finding ways to have your items be interlocking even when they are not necessarily working in like direct conjunction, right? Where you, when you attack, it causes a bleed, and a bleed leads to a poison, and a poison leads to a stun. Like all of those things seem like they're critical towards uh, managing the game as it uh, gets more difficult and is increasing. Um, the amount of damage that you're taking, um, it seems like that stuff is probably critical to survival. So we'll see if I can, um... I don't remember... I've already forgotten how much... I think it's like 99,000 or something. Oh, I screwed this up. Okay, well, okay, I'm on the guard.
some of these basic enemies do a pretty significant amount of damage. No. 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Can you open it? I forget. Can you open the cursed treasure? And see what's inside? Or are you cursed if you open the treasure? Badass bow that we can do things from a distance. Come on, believe in me. Believe in me like I believe in you, chat. Look at this plus 300% damage inflicted on enemies, plus 300% damage taken, plus 20% damage taken. Like, who would want to use that bow? That said, look at the DPS 2230. That's ridiculous. I did. I survived this curse the last time. I'm not taking that bow. I guess that's true. But it's not color. Oh, it is colorless. Oh, they're both colorless. But then I gotta make it all the way to the end. Mm. I'm gonna lose my flames though. Question. Can you get rid of the skull uh, perk? Oh, people are saying the skull. Oh, you can't. Okay. All right, we're gonna recycle that boat. Now let's go, um... <laughs> Y'all! Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so nervous! Alright, so this is, where, this is gonna... Now we cheesing. Put it up on the big board. Nine. Oh, we gotta go back. I don't think there's any spikes here, so I don't think I have to worry about like making a, a poor choice uh, in that direction. Uh, it's this one. I think I've cleared everyone out. I don't think I have to worry about that. Ah, shit, it was not here. Which one was it? It's in the other one. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, 
thought I'd cleared everything out. Untrue. You believe in me. What the heck? What happened to my... F What happened to my... It's more to the left? Farther left? Oh, I missed it? So, oh. It was in the first shot? I was getting no I wasn't buying yeah this oh I was thinking of the grenade I'm sorry 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 this is what I was I was thinking I was upgrading the grenade I was looking for a blue grenade I was looking for a blue grenade all right I'm gonna take a sip of water <laughs> Bleeding causes poisoning. Victims emit a toxic cloud. Ooh, ooh, baby. Know what that's worth. Ooh, baby, emit a toxic cloud. All right, one more enemy, and then we are in the clear, baby. We got long. Forget, oh, can you climb up multiple stairs? Hell yeah, look at that attention to detail. That's a video game. Well, no, most video games don't do that. All right, where are we? Okay, we're approaching. All right, now we gotta be careful. should be good. Hell yeah! Curse lifted! All y'all in the chat that did not respect my abilities. Curse lifted, baby. They just call me Big Daddy Curse. Alright, well, we'll be back. I ain't met a curse I don't like.
sit here and just snipe every enemy. Damage to a poison target. Uh, bleeding causes poisoning. Or stuck to the no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sticking with it. Get nervous, y'all. Oh, all right. We'll get that. Uh, let's get that key. So those red dudes that like do the goop, they are, they are powerful foes. Even though they are just little goop bros. Um, they do this. And they cause a lot. Oh, thank you. It's delicious. Go ahead and just pick that up by not <laughs> causing any possibility that I can screw it up. toothbrush won't stop running. My wife's uh, Sonicare toothbrush just keeps going off in the middle of the night. Like, like a ghost brush. Like a bad sci-fi. Alright, oh yeah, right. So I have the village key now, which means I can go back. said this is a run, but we do things, we experiment, we protect, he explore, he die. So we will go through that door. Oh, so I'm just, okay, that's just it. You use that key, bro. All right. Ah. All right, let's take a long swig of this water. Wish that was a beer. Oh, I feel like this is so. This is about the last time when we made it to this part uh, in a different route. This is where I got my ass kicked. All right, random starter bow in it. Hell yeah! So I can get both of those. Random melee weapon. Random. Uh, Oh, that seems just like a good way to, 
to start. Impaler. That sounds like a cool weapon. We'll just put this one in. We can't do recycling. Sure, let's, 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 let's impaler. You get one point in Paler. So I think I'm gonna stick with my modifiers. Not mess with anything there. Can't do anything else with the mutations, I'm gonna reset them. I kinda gotta go to the bathroom, but I feel like that's just an added sense of danger to what's happening right now. I'm gonna nicely open this door. Grenade. Burns enemies. I guess I'll just take one and recycle it. I don't know. That doesn't tell you how much it's worth. Let's just take a random teleporter to somewhere else. Well, it just seems like that's critical to this area. It's just a lot of this. Ah! How am I taking damage? Light source, huh? All right. Well, oh, it's like just like t it's toxic. Yeah. 
out of the light. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay, so it seems like those torches don't actually help me. They light the way, but they don't... Uh... Get scared. Go back to the light, go back to the light. Oh! Come on! What is that? Was just a bunch of garbage. This is scary. Make me feel better that that amazing run just went down the shitter. So, hang on, what is this? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, notice, look at that. Two deaths, baby. Well, that is going to do it uh, for today. Thanks, everyone, uh, for tuning in. Um, that was a lot of fun. We had another really deep, weird run. It's called Streaming Luck All You Want, haters. Come at me. Just because I roll two legendaries and then get all these baller stats that interlock one another. That's just skill. That's just RNG skill. Uh, I am Patrick Club. You can follow me on Twitter at Patrick Klubik. You can follow Waypoint at waypoint.vice.com. Follow us on Twitter at, at Waypoint. On Facebook at uh, Waypoint Vice. On YouTube Archives. Waypoint Vice. Archives on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Waypoint. Uh, there will be an episode of Waypoint Radio today. I believe they might have recorded it while I was doing the stream. Um, and there will be a special stream this afternoon. I don't want to spoil things. I don't know what's been announced. I don't know. I, I don't want to be the, the spoiler sport. So look forward to a really cool long stream that's supposed to happen this afternoon. It does not involve me. It involves a special guest. Um, I'm going to have a piece going up on the site today about Life is Strange. Um, it's a sensitive topic, so I'm not going to get into it here. This is a fun stream. I'm not going to be a downer. But look forward to that uh, after I eat some lunch. But thanks for watching. Again, we'll be back every day for the rest of the week. We're going to do... We could do two runs, but th these runs have gone so long that we're just doing one. Um, but uh, every day, Hot Mike Mornings, Hot Mike Mornings is on pause. We do uh, daily uh, streams of Dead Cells. One more run. Unfortunately, we only did one run today, so it's not one more run, but it's one more run tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and we will be back tomorrow morning. See ya. <laughs>